Judy is a drama film about um, Judy Garland, the child star and uh, the one who captured the heart of America in The Wizard of Oz. Um, this movie is very similar to another movie I watched a couple years ago called Stan and Ollie. And a movie that's a drama about an entertainer, but it takes place during their later years uh, when they've already been an established career in the entertainment industry. Um, this movie follows Judy Garland as she deals with um, not being able to find much work in America, have, having divorced uh, with her husband, having to have her kids live with her uh, on the road in hotel rooms and things like that. And then she decides to go for a mad dash of working harder in London, England, where there's more of a demand for her to perform. So she has to go over there and sort of stage a comeback of sorts. This movie was really well-rounded. Uh, Renee Zellweger, she obviously deserves the Oscar, man. She's so good in this movie. Uh, I didn't even recognize her, man. Honestly, she just got lost in the role. But I also think it helps that the cast, um, they get a lot of people that aren't too well known. I mean, the only person that's really like got any like stature would be Michael Gambon as a small role as the hotel operator, I think. He's like a manager of a hotel. But everyone else is kind of um, dialed down which is fine because you know Judy is the main star so they, they, you can't say that the movie has an amazing cast that backs her up but they don't try to overshadow her and she becomes the main focus of the story. Uh, there's also a lot of flashback sequences involving a really great actress who plays the younger version of Judy Garland and these flashbacks are really important because they flesh out the sort of tumultuous career of a child star. I didn't really know much of anything because you know I've only seen a couple Judy Garland films. I don't, I don't know. I'm a fan, but I'm not like a huge fan. I didn't know she had such a, you know, large music career. But there's so much going on back in the day. That they were not very kind to people that they basically locked into these vicious contracts. So we get to watch Judy in small snippets. Uh, you know, talking with the uh, studio boss or being controlled by different people and her diet was really restricted. She couldn't do anything she wanted to do or have any free time. She was basically owned by the studio and whenever she tried to complain, they would be like, hey, you know, there's so many other girls out there that would be die to be in your place. Why don't you, you know, fall in line? So the movie does have some great performances from other characters. But uh, overall, it's a nice swan song sort of drama film. It's very easy going. It's not too particularly like groundbreaking, but it's, it's solid enough with the flashbacks and the current storyline. It's a really nice intimate look at Judy Garland as a person versus an entertainer. It also showcases the toll that one has with such fame. Uh, you also get to see the sort of, um, you know, juxtaposition of like, no one cares who she is in America at that moment, but when she, as soon as she went to London, England, she was a big deal because people still love her, you know, and, She's a worldwide icon, so Judy is a pretty well-rounded drama film, and I give it a 7 out of 10.